Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you top 12 Excel shortcut keys in 2023. So basically, these are my top 12 shortcut keys in Excel. Let me know at the comment section what you know or what shortcut keys you prefer as your top 12 shortcut keys. So we're not going to waste much time. Let's jump into action. And the first one is, is the Control plus Shift plus L. Now basically what happened is that if I have a table like this and then I want to filter the data within this table and I want to apply a filter to this then I can use the shortcut key okay I can basically use the shortcut key that's Control shift plus L with a combination of Control shift and L it's going to apply a filter so you can see now I have a filter applied to my data and then I should be able to sort this data according to the figures i have over here so i've just applied this using this simple shortcut key Control shift plus l so it's going to apply a filter to this so this are now amazing way to basically filter data i can easily filter this data using from the smallest to the largest and then i can also do this using from the largest to the smallest so you can sort this data anyhow you want just by applying Control shift plus l so that's the shortcut key for that now i'm actually going to go through the next one so my next shortcut key is control plus d so basically control plus d just allow you to duplicate a content so this is basically a data i've generated a graph over here and i want a copy of this let's say this pie chart i want a copy of this particular pie chart all i have to do is press control plus d on my keyboard so control plus d it's basically going to give me a copy of this so you can see i have an extra copy of my pie chart so control plus d that's my second shortcut key okay so that is my second shortcut key is the list i have over here now i'm going to talk about my next shortcut key so my next shortcut key is so the next key is the control plus the tilde key the key just below the escape key so there's a key below the escape key as you can see on my screen so that's the next key it's going to expand the column so you can see how my column is looking at the moment it's going to expand this column for me and if i press this it's going to switch it back so it basically expand your excel column for you so like subscribe if today's your first time visiting my channel don't forget to turn on post notification so this is my third shortcut key on the list so i'm going to my fourth one my fourth shortcut key is basically control alt and then con control alt plus v so it opened the special paste button so basically if you want to copy some content if i copy this content for instance if i copy this content and i want to paste it on another part of my worksheet i just have to press control alt and then v and it's going to open the paste special so assume you want to use the transpose you want to paste this content in another place has values and you want to use the transpose data then you can use this particular shortcut key that's control alt plus v it's going to open the paste special for you and then you can basically transform your data and that is it now that is my fourth shortcut key my next shortcut key which is basically my fifth one is control shift plus the dollar sign so i'm going to just assume i have a data here and i want to apply a currency symbol to this data and i want to apply a currency symbol to this data then i can use this shortcut key so it's basically converts into a currency so you have to press control shift plus dollar symbol on your keyboard control shift plus the dollar symbol you can see it will convert this into what the currency so now it's applying the dollar sign to this so that is my fifth shortcut key now i'm going to go to my sixth shortcut key but remember to like subscribe if today is your first time because i have amazing video tutorials coming up on this channel especially on excel and then you can afford to miss that so subscribe so you stay alert for that my sixth shortcut key is the control sheet plus the percentage so if you want to convert or apply percentage sign to just any numbers and you can you can go ahead and use this shortcut key so let's assume this numbers over the score for this student 
I want them to be percentages or I just want to apply percentage sign and I can do that just press ctrl shift plus the percentage sign on your keyboard ctrl shift plus percentage sign you can see it's actually going to apply the percentage sign to this if you have figures in decimal places and then you want to apply the percentage symbol then you can equally go ahead and then do this so that is my sys shortcut key my next shortcut key is the f4 okay that's the f4 and i'm going to show you basically what this does now it basically repeats a process so if i come here and then i insert let me right click and then insert a new column here sorry i'm going to insert a new row over here i insert a new row over here. remember the vertical is the column and then the horizontal are the rows so if i add a new row over here after adding new row and then i press f for my keyboard and it's basically going to duplicate this process for me or it's just going to repeat this process so if i start pressing f4 on my keyboard you can see it will keep adding more more rules for me in that order so basically that is what you do with the f4 is repeat the process so basically let's say i press i select 60 and then i board in 60. if i come to 84 and i press f4 automatically it's going to apply both to this if i go to the next one it's going to do that so it basically repeats a process so that's my seventh shortcut key my next shortcut key is the alt plus f1 so let me see if i have a data here so let's assume i have this data and then i basically want to generate a graph for this so i can press alt plus f f1 and it's going to generate a graph out of this data so if i select this data highlight this data without doing anything i press alt plus f1 Alt plus F1 automatically is going to generate a graph for me. So you can see I didn't go to anywhere to generate any graph by just pressing Alt plus F1. I managed to get a graph out of this data and I can go ahead and then just format this. So that is my eighth shortcut key. Now I'm going to go ahead and then go to my knife shortcut key. My knife shortcut key is the control plus enter. Okay. So this is quite very very interesting so let's assume let's come here and then just do some few practical on this if i select a portion like this and then i want to fill this portion with a figure let me see i enter enter i type the word enter and then i want to fill this selection with the same enter keyword i have to press ctrl plus enter and then it's going to fill the enter place for me so you can see what is happening so you can use it to fill a selection and not just this let's assume you can see this particular table i have part of this table empty and then maybe you don't have data for that and you want to make this part of this table you just want to make it not applicable the empty spaces you don't want to leave them blank then you can basically use this process to actually fill that so in this case you can just press ctrl plus the g on your keyboard and then let's go to special you just have to select special here and then select blank just indicate the blank once select the blank part of this click ok and then now just type not applicable and then that is all now when you hit ctrl enter you can see the rest of the portions that we don't have that are left blank has been automatically filled with the not applicable for us so that is basically what you can use the control plus the enter key shortcut key to do so that is basically very straightforward now i'm going to go to my 10 shortcut key my 10 shortcut key is basically the odd plus the equal to so what happens is that if i apply this if i want a summation of this results if i want summation i click over here and i want to sum up this and I want to get a formula for that. All I have to do is to basically press the Alt plus the equal to sign. And it's going to bring me this formula for summation. So just press Alt plus the equal to sign. You can see it's basically highlighted and generates a summation formula for me. So when I hit enter, it's just going to sum up everything for me. I can do basically the same thing for this part. Alt plus equal to and then that is it so you can see this very 
easy to go about once you use this simple shortcut key it's going to do that for you like subscribe for more video tutorials like this because i have a lot of techniques to share with you i'm going to go to my 11 shortcut key my 11 shortcut key is basically about selection columns and rows and all that so when you press ctrl shift plus the arrow keys so let's just go to my main data over here if i want to select this entire column and i want to highlight this entire column where i have my data all i have to do is to press ctrl shift and then the down arrow and then it's going to select it from the top from the top to the bottom where i have my data i can do the same thing for the horizontal as well so that's the the row if i come there and i select my row and i want just the row selected all i have to do is to do select the row and then press ctrl shift and then the right arrow and you can see it's going to select just where we have the data from the first to the last it's not going to include the empty cells okay so i can just do the same for the column d ctrl shift plus the down arrow and it's going to select that column for you so it's going to select the column just with data it will not as go beyond that so that is basically my 11th shortcut key in this video tutorial my last one is basically a very well known shortcut key and that is the control a so that's just like a bonus to you so the 12 shortcut key is basically control a which means you are selecting everything so if i select one and i press control a then it's basically going to select the rest for me so that is my top 12 shortcut keys in this video tutorial if you enjoyed this video like subscribe and give me a thumbs up also share this video so others can have the opportunity to watch i like you so much and in my next video tutorial there's something special for you